Hi, today we're going to take a look at the Do Not Disturb features on your iPhone 11 or the 11 Pro or Pro Max and uh, everything you need to know about Do Not Disturb features now from your home screen so just go back to your home screen and tap on the settings icon in uh, settings go down and tap on Do Not Disturb now you can see here Do Not Disturb will allow you to or allow the phone to silence or to mute all the calls all the alerts and all the notifications uh, this is especially useful uh, let's say if you go to sleep at night time you can set your phone on Do Not Disturb so that people do not disturb or disrupt your sleep so at the top here is um, Do Not Disturb switch uh, that allows you to switch it on immediately so let's say even during the day you want to switch it on uh, temporarily you can just go in here and then tap on the switch to turn it on if you uh, later on you want to switch it off you can just tap on it to uh, switch it off now down here is a schedule so what the schedule does is it automatically uh, switch on do not disturb at a specified time so if you tap on from 2 you can choose from what time um, the do not disturb will turn on so you can see here at the bottom there is a time that you can choose for example I want to choose 11 p.m. so I select 7 p.m. and then 2 and then you can set what time do not disturb will turn off so it will go to 7 a.m. so between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. do not disturb will turn on and that will mute all your incoming calls text messages notifications and alerts so that is schedules and here you got a function a dim screen a dim lock screen switch where you can turn it on or off so so here schedule turns uh, on do not disturb for the time period you select dim lock screen darkens the lock screen and sends notifications to the notification center during that time now down here you got the silence options always or while the iPhone is locked so what this feature does is is that it, um, it allows you to choose always so this one here you say like always silence so that mean when you are using the phone like you are using the phone right now uh, when you receive an incoming call it still always can be silence uh, if you choose while the iPhone is locked so if your phone is locked like this then when you receive an incoming call or you receive a notification it will get silence it will not disturb you however if um, your phone is um, is not locked so let's say if you are using the phone and it's not locked then when you are receiving an incoming call or a notification your phone will notify you it will alert you so that you can uh, take actions so what's, that's what uh, this uh, feature does now if you uh, move on to the next one to the phone section it says allow calls from and then if you tap on it so you can see it say when in do not disturb mode allow incoming calls from your favorites so you can set your favorites so let's say when you set uh, do not disturb turns on however if anyone a contact from your favorite list they still can get through do not disturb so do not disturb will not block them out they still can uh, call you they still can notify you they can still text you so if you want someone let's say your partners or your friends your uncle or your family members you can add them to favorites so that uh, when you turn on do not disturb they do not get blocked out during that time period so in here you can choose everyone no one that means no one can actually disturb you when you turn on do not disturb or only for people from favorites or you can choose uh, everyone from your contacts now this feature is, is also useful when um, you are getting a lot of spam so there are a lot of people some people they might uh, try to spam you by sending you a lot of uh, text messages so one way to do this is to uh, basically turn on do not disturb and then simply just allow only contacts or allow people from your contacts list to contact you so that's the features right there and then if you go down you got the uh, repeated calls so this features allow you to turn it on and off so what this does is that it allow a certain call from the same person within three minutes uh, to call you so let's say if I um, try to call someone and they have do not disturb turn on and if uh, I try to call it again then I will be successfully go through if this feature is turned on I can get through to the do not disturb so basically it's, uh, you know it's if if someone keep calling you and they think it's urgent and they will need to contact you you know right away they can try uh, to call you several times within the three minutes and if they do that they will be successfully go through do not disturb 
And down here, you got do not disturb while driving. So this is um, primarily for the when you are driving the car. So if you tap on activate, you can set automatically. So do not disturb will automatically switch on when you are driving. Uh, when you are connected to a car Bluetooth, then do not disturb will automatically uh, switch on. So this is do not disturb while driving. And then you can also switch them on, on uh, manually as well. Now another option down here is the CarPlay. So it will activate with CarPlay. You can turn this feature on or off. So it says do not disturb while driving will be activated automatically while connected to CarPlay. So once you go in your, into your car and if it's um, connected to CarPlay, then do not disturb while driving will automatically turn it on. Okay, and then you got the two last options with do not disturb is the auto reply to. Uh, in here you can choose no one, reasons, favorites, or all contacts. So the auto reply to, your favorites will receive this message when they text you and may break through do not disturb uh, by sending urgent as an additional message. So when they try trying to uh, contact you and if they get blocked out, they may send uh, a text and in the text it might say something urgent and that means um, the phone will pick up as an urgent it will allow that person to um, get through to you and in the auto reply message you can change it this is the default uh, auto reply for the do not disturb I'm driving with do not disturb while driving turn on I'll see a message when I uh, get where I'm going so this is for the um, while you are driving so let's say where you're driving and um, if they say something urgent, you may take actions depending on um, what the message say. But uh, if you're driving, uh, under no circumstances can you pick up your phone. So just make sure you can park somewhere safe or that you are somehow connected to Bluetooth device and that you can control an incoming call or pick up an incoming call without having to touch your phone. So that is all the features within the Do Not Disturb on your iPhone. Now you can also access the do not disturb features by swiping down at the top here and this will open up the control center and this is the do not disturb icon right here. If you tap on it you can uh, quickly turn do not disturb on or off but if you long press on it you can also have additional functions. Now the additional functions are you can choose for one hour so turn on do not disturb for one hour and after one hour it automatically turn off do not disturb. You could choose into this evening, so I'm not sure when is the set time for the evening. It could be 6 or 7. And you can also choose schedule. So basically schedule is in here, you can set the schedule. And that's it. So if you long press on it, then it will come out with the options. Or you can simply just tap on it to turn it off. And that is everything you need to know with Do Not Disturb on your iPhone 11 Pro. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.